Hi everybody, so it's pretty well recognised that flywheels are an awesome source of energy storage. They're a mechanical battery. Now flywheels have been around, well, for millennia really. The first flywheel storage was probably the potter's wheel. It was a big lump of stone. The potter would give it a spin, get it going and use the energy he put into it to spin his pot so his hands and legs were free. Of course, they've been used in things like buses use flywheel energy. There's flywheel energy storage in various uh, on-grid installations. And of course, kids' toys are bound with flywheel energy storage from cars to robots. So, they're really exciting and interesting things with one sort of key drawback, and that's the flywheel. The flywheel is actually quite hard to do when it comes to home flywheels. Now, we made one out of a bicycle wheel and a bit of concrete and that functioned really quite well but you still had to do that to it and I'm forever looking around for a simple solution. Now, gone are my You Mr Universe days when I used to enter those competitions what we've got here now is a load of free weights that I'm hang, hanging around and I keep looking at them thinking surely that could be a flywheel. Uh, it's a big old weight and if you were to try to turn this at something like 30,000 RPM you'd probably be sorry. But in a home installation you're extremely unlikely to get up to that kind of RPM. So the kind of revolutions per minute we're going to spin that is probably going to function quite well as a flywheel. Now obviously it's got this great big hole in it where the weightlifting bar went and we really want to be able to put some magnets on it and we want to be able to put some bearings in there and I guess we could try and source some bearings at 20.6.3 millimetres which is what that is. However, we do have a 3D printer. So I went to the trouble of knocking this up. Now you can see what it is, it's, it's really simple, it's very little more than a plug and a cradle because I just want to test this idea. So. I uh, printed out the plug and the plug has the right hole for the bearings and of course this is the right hole to go slap bang in there. We put some magnets in those holes on that plate and hey presto we've got an instant flywheel. Now of course we want to test it so I've got a cradle and we'll drop that in the cradle and give it a spin and we'll see what happens. But let's put some magnets and bearings in this first. And that's it finished. I mean, it really is that simple. We've got a whole bunch of magnets here. They're N52s. They're um, five millimeters thick, 15 millimeters across in diameter and arranged north, south, north, south for all those people who like those kind of details. Now we're gonna set this spinning and I warn you, you're gonna get bored watching it spin because it spins for absolutely ages. So I've got a coil. I've got a couple of LEDs so we can watch them flash. We're going to give it a spin and then we'll talk about it to stop ourselves getting too bored. And there she goes, generating away. Now that's going to spin for ages because it's a flywheel and it's a pretty good flywheel. This is a basic version, just so we can see how it works. Now clearly we want to do something else rather than just spin it by hand. But it's astounding how just a simple hand spin will make this thing spin for absolutely ages and of course generate away, which is really cool. So we will be following forward on this, probably going to put this into the ratchet mechanism that we made in the previous video. If you want to make a flywheel um, battery stroke generator, then it's as simple as that. All you really need is some free weights. Now, people will point out to us, because they won't be able to resist the temptation, that a fly, um, weight like this isn't good for a flywheel, because if you take it up to 30,000 RPM, the shrapnel will kill all your neighbor's dogs and chickens. Yeah, that's very true. But in a home situation, your chances of being able to do that, well, they're pretty much zero. You're going to be able to get this to about, I don't know, a thousand RPM or something. And for that, it's just Jim Dandy Super Brilliant and has the advantage of being extremely simple, extremely cheap, and extremely useful. So I hope you enjoyed the video. See? Still going. Thank you very much for watching. And please do remember to like and subscribe.